I told Humpty from the start that you were a rat. But he was so good and trusting, and it was my job to protect him. But you cheated, didn't you? Going to Tom like that? You aren't just a rat, are you? No, you're the fucking devil! But I, I will honor his memory by making you pay for it. <laughs> J stands for Judas, the fucking backstabber. Take her to the subway, Crockies, before the other assholes show up. What's the penalty for treason, boy? <laughs> Nefertiti and Hope trying to turn your head back there. They can't offer you what I can. Community, fellowship, a chance to lead. Your mission has failed, Tom. The flesh was not meant to survive on Proxima. Now there's still room for you in the mission, Nephi, I swear. Don't you ever call me that again. I was so certain I was helping people fix their lives. Fucking moron. Everything I thought was true was just Honestly, so now the only thing I'm looking forward to is nothingness. And when you bring me there, when I see it swimming out to me, I'll let it take me. It's the only way out. Please do this for me, Judas. Help me end this thing. Lady, your poor hand. It doesn't have to be like this. You have this way about you. It triggers people. I don't know how to help you anymore. I repeat the cycle, and there's an easy way out. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Say hi back. Of course they know. <laughs> what if I told you that every word you say is being recorded? Every thought you've ever had your love, your fear, your hate, were just planted in your brain like weeds in a garden. How would you do to free yourself? We both know the answer to that question. Nothing. You are the frog in a pot, boiling so slowly. You don't even know what's happening. But I'm here to set you free. Whether you like it or not. We 
have the map. They're gonna kill us for it. If that's the case, there's only one thing we can do. was not only brilliant, but courageous. To save her planet, she was willing to sacrifice everything and travel to the stars. As a frontier world, we were barely hanging on and desperate. We tried digging up our past to find the key to our future. Max, we need to head back. There's too much interference. Hold on. I'm getting a rebate. I can't... <gasps>
What she found that day was a miracle. It would be our salvation. And she used that ship to explore the far-flung corners of the galaxy. A traveler on the hunt for celestial treasure. Careful, Max. The data structure is incredibly dense. This is it. <laughs> put her life on the line to bring back artifacts to put us on the path to scientific breakthroughs. She risked everything, time and again. But despite her bravery, eventually her luck would run out. Lucky for us, she made it home safely. While she was alive, she was too humble to speak of her adventures, but at least we, her descendants, can honor her memory. Thank you all for visiting the museum today, and safe travels tomorrow. Hey, hey, that's off limits. She was always charging headfirst into the darkness. I was always one step behind, looking for the light switch. The Celestials hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. Come on! And I had to save her. from this world, away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me, but an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. It all started with a scientific expedition to the planet Turion, where the New Horizons Corporation was hoping to find new life forms. If only they knew back then what evil they would bring to Earth. A data leak started to spread, revealing that New Horizons was conducting military experiments crossbreeding the human genome with alien DNA. And so, the nightmare began. Now, competing megacorps all over the world are sending mercenaries to retrieve this research data by all means necessary. 
that's where we come in. I know I just wrote you, but a couple of hours ago, proximity sensors on, on the other side, side of the jump got twigged. Where it is, it might be that clan we've been battling with. I guess that last fight didn't scare them, them off, off quite like we all hoped it would. Honestly, we've been out here so long, I don't know what to pull for anymore. I just... I just wanted to let you know. I'll write as soon as I can. Stay safe. Your loving son. Never gets old, does it? Sir. It is. I used to do the same thing when I was first coming up. Post up to the flight deck whenever I could to watch the launches. Have you seen the F-8s up close? No, sir. The thing's a beast. Nimble, too. Twelve maneuvering thrusters and three mains, it sure sounds like it, sir.
I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. Yes, sir. Keep your head up. Took me a couple times before I got in. Thank you, sir. What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? The Altars tells the story of Jan Dolsky, a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Yan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, the planet Yan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. Despite his best efforts, Yan simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But, the planet Yan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Yan is able to create alternative versions of himself. The Altars. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Yan's past. The altars are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our altars have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. But they also come with their own goals, ambitions and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that can generate problems. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. Incompetence, incoherent decision-making, a groundbreaking mission on the verge of failure. Damn, I just hope I don't f everything up again. You want a relationship that lasts, put some effort in it. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep everyone happy. You gotta learn how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can, because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. Obstacles on the outside, internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home is to press forward. These are dangerous times. At least that's what I hear. The Empire? They're everywhere. But the world here belongs to the syndicates. If I want to survive, I have to play their game. Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. There she is. My 
whole life. And now, I just need a chance to finally be free. Wherever that takes me. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. You're gonna have to trust me. It'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. The underworld shows no mercy. But it's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna risk it all. Star Wars Outlaws, coming 2024. My name is Imogen Sajet. My entire life has been study, analysis, planning. Today, the galaxy is burning. I will be bound into the Carcassonne, merged with the ship in both body and mind. Fleetwide comms open. Attention all personnel. You've each just received a mission briefing. Nothing is redacted. Because I want you to know what is at stake. We have been tasked with finishing Karen Sajet and the Fifth Fleet's mission. Discover the source of the anomaly and stop it once and for all. I know we are expecting a simple shakedown cruise. Proximity alert. Control enemy strike craft weapons. Range. Many of you are feeling overwhelmed. Doubting yourselves. Confirmed. We've got incoming. They have us in multiple launches. Tracking all covered. Ask yourselves this, fleet. Who would follow a course laid by doubt? Would we already have the finest navigator of our generation? I have no doubt. We will succeed. Whatever it takes to complete the mission. Enemy strike craft coming in fast. Target in your target. Split, split. Close range too high. Frank, good hit. My name is Imogen Sajet. Now, I must be more than a scientist. I am Fleet Command. We've lost the square, we can't! 
of here before something else breaks. Lights are back on, that's good. Space was my second home. My work that mattered. I was the hero. For my nation. For my family. That mission was different. Everything I loved was gone. They took it from me. fight to defend the galaxy from the others. My name is Sam Walker, and I want my life back. All we wanted was to start over. Leaving our family, our friends behind. And we were so eager to hand ourselves over. But we just ended up the same.
all this to start our new life. survival always pushes humanity to conquer new frontiers, making the technically impossible a reality. The major space bureaus have joined forces to build the space elevator to transfer your production to the moon. Here, you'll be able to expand without earthly restriction. There are no restricted areas and emission quotas. Explore, fabricate, and trade. The logistics with Earth will be provided by crust. But as it turns out, the moon conceals a lot more than anyone could have imagined. Hey, what the hell? The bigger question still lingers. Will the moon be humanity's endpoint? Or the beginning of a new path? Peace is a lie. That is what the Sith believe. They promise power. Now they wield it. We face the greatest Sith in generations. They must be stopped. We begin by hearing an old, wise-sounding voice. And we see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. Now, something must break the serenity. Will this creature be in the game? Now, say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, People running. These pointless slow motion shots make everything seem cool and should bolster pre sale numbers. That wah sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world, and there should be lens flares. Now we see our hero. But only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. Or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished... ...is the title. 